What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening here, buddy? As I get this mic together, because you know I got to hold this thing like this for like three, four, five hours. What's happening, people? What's happening? Picking up where we left off yesterday. Picking up where we left off yesterday. First and foremost, where y'all from? Let's see. Today is Thursday. Tuesday, we had a lot of West Coast. We had a lot of Texas. We had a lot of California. The Yesterday, we had... Yes, it was Wednesday. Yesterday, we had a lot of Texas again. A lot of Florida. New York. We had some Virginia. We had some Puerto Rico up in here. Who we got today? Where y'all from today? Where everybody from today? And can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? But what's happening, people? What's happening? What's happening? We're doing our usual. And ain't nothing but a little bit of... Q&A while I answer uh, these emails and be back and forth between clients and y'all. Virginia Beach in the house. All right. Michigan. Oh, we got some different people today. All right. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be real good. Dallas in the house. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Illinois. I've never been in Illinois yet. It's coming on. Arkansas. Okay. We different. Okay. So my 1230. It's 1230 where I'm at. So I'm going to see my 1230 crowd. My 1230 crowd. Y'all different. We got some South Jersey. Got some California, some Denver. I want to go to Denver so bad. Arizona. Okay, we got Louisiana in the building. Hometown. Mississippi. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, y'all. Well, KC. Shy Town. Oh, we got some Shy Town in the house. Oh, y'all coming from all over. Okay, I feel like, all right, today going to be good then. Today going to be good. I feel like today going to be good. We got a little jambalaya. Let everybody up in here. But what's happening, everybody? I hope y'all day doing oh, some more Puerto Rico. That's what I'm talking about. Um, same thing yesterday, y'all. I mean, we just gonna pick up where we left off last. The other day, we was talking about um, detoxification. We was talking about blood types and certain foods that react certain type of way to certain blood types. How you know chicken isn't necessarily good. We talked about that. We talked about so many things. So I'm gonna leave the floor to y'all again today. You know, so whatever questions y'all have, anything y'all want to inquire about, y'all ask away. Um. And if you're new to this live, we don't typically have topics. We just talk because I uh, I can come here and teach a curriculum and have stuff already. And I do it from time to time if need be. Like, we'll talk about detox and stuff later on. But I like to let y'all have the floor. I don't like talking about stuff that y'all don't want to hear about, you know. But yesterday we stopped off at um stopped off at blood types. And we were talking about, like, diets and things of that nature. Everybody wants to know the secret the quote unquote secret to losing belly fat and all that type of stuff. And I'm like, there's no secret. There's like three methods that you can use, but I don't feel like, no, it's one particular thing for belly fat, but you know, I'm just coach Brian, but let's see, let me see until we get some questions going. And I don't know if I'm letting people in the live today, y'all, because we did good the last time, but it'd be, it'd be kind of weird when there were people request to go live and the live ain't even started yet. <laughs> so being, a positive you don't like meat well i'm not a positive i'm a b positive but um i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say that like if you're a type that you don't like chicken because chicken is actually neutral for y'all it's just that the way that they're growing and raising chickens these days and the stuff that they're putting in it is not necessarily the best and it's not coagulating with y'all you know so it's like to receive the greatest benefits for well if we if you're an a i'm gonna talk about in in the in the forms of a Y'all shouldn't be having y'all list is huge when it come down to meat like the avoid list. Y'all can't have bacon. Y'all lamb don't do y'all good. Liver don't do y'all good. Beef don't beef for sure don't do y'all good. Duck, ham, heart, all that type of stuff. Like the A's are typically they're more fun to like like an A diet is more so like kind of close to an A B diet. It's more so fruits and vegetables, things of that nature. You know, but like anytime it comes out to like especially hard meats. For A types, y'all be in shambles. Now, granted, I'm A B, so I get the kind of the best of both worlds. I can kind of eat meat a lot, but that's I don't even crave it like that. You know, I, I'm I'm more eighty twenty, so it's like. But when I do find myself eating a lot of harsh meats and stuff like that, I don't feel the best. But y'all do better. Type A's do better with a lot of um fruits and vegetables, even a little seafood here and there, because y'all seafood list isn't too bad. Like y'all y'all can eat like a lot of um red snapper you know cod carp salmon things of that nature even in y'all neutral section is pretty decent like um uh like bass and um even some people it go as far as eating shark and mahi mahi all that type of stuff but y'all avoid list it's kind of you know y'all can't really indulge in like crabs and all that type of stuff because y'all especially like smoked seafood y'all stomach just start going crazy let me see oh, i'm missing out on my bad i'm missing out on questions y'all up in here asking questions 
why is chicken not necessarily good for you like i said before especially with b types b types y'all y'all should stay away from chicken in general because like chickens contain a a, a wagulant uh lectin and like the muscle tissue so if you consume it more poultry than red meat and stuff like that you know you'll you'll find yourself having problems digesting it because fundamentally y'all stomachs and y'all blood is just like it's not good it just don't even if it's a it's a free range nice good chicken it just doesn't really do well with y'all it makes y'all gain weight a lot faster it slows down y'all metabolism it makes y'all blood thick you know it slows down your lymphatic system it's just not it's just not the best for y'all especially y'all so that's just a that's just the facts behind life let's see first time on a live what type of certifications do you have well i've been in school for a while i've been in school for a while my next certification i'm trying to be an iridologist i'm saying b because i already didn't studied all of the books and stuff like that so it's like i already know this stuff but i'm looking for because like there's like a few iridologists i want to study under i've already studied studied under a good bit of them but like who i want to get certified under is different and it's more expensive than normal but I feel as though that's going to be like my next and last certification that I'm doing because I've been doing between personal training, nutrition, all that type of stuff. I've been doing that for a long time. But my I feel like my last, I ain't even going to say accolade, but my last piece of paper I want is iridologist. So once I do that, I'm going to be, I feel like I'm going to be complete within myself, you know. But I specialize in holistic wellness and weight loss. Going into the doctor appointment, pick up when done yeah hopefully you you are still up in here I, I'm, I'm up in here for a while depending on the, the crowd we typically up in here for like a few a few little time it's very long and no kind of potatoes yeah yeah okay you know what you're talking about then yeah because you cause let me tell y'all something y'all bees bees between bees and a's lord that's why i'm glad i'm a b i got the i got the best of both worlds but i don't have like we was talking about yesterday i don't have the digestive system of a o y'all could just like i said the other y'all could eat a whole license plate and y'all be fine how do you find these types? I mean, you could just Google blood types, you know, and you'll be able to find uh, all that type of stuff out. But I mean, I'm not going to say negative and positive doesn't matter when it comes down to like dietary concerns for blood types. But I, I would say this, figure out your blood type on top of you figuring out your blood type, figure out what you naturally crave and what you naturally don't crave. Because most times you're like prime example. I'm, I was always the kid in the family. I didn't really crave sweets a lot. I would eat uh fruits over candy anytime i don't really like a lot of hard meats and stuff like that i just never was that type of person but then the more i started to learn about blood types and how you know geographically how it evolved and how the food goes with this and that is like oh well i'm just naturally eating according to what my body can and can't handle you know so once you start doing that and th what didn't help was that i mean well doesn't help i'm still down here I, I live in southern louisiana so it's like all of that stuff plays a role too but you know, you just got to look into it. I oftentimes tell people like they wasn't lying when they say, if you want to hide information from people, put it in a book because I can't begin to tell you how many books I've read throughout the past decade of just figuring out health, figuring out biology, figuring out chemistry, figuring out how all this stuff moves and flows together just to be able to even get on here and talk for 10 minutes, hell, 15 minutes, you know, but I just say getting them books, eat right for your blood type is a really, really, really good book. Really, really. I, let me see who made that book. I can Google it real quick because I have the digital copy, but I don't have the hard copy um it's called eat right for your blood type it's by dr peter jd adarno i think i'm saying his name right but yeah his real good stuff real good stuff good information thank you what about opaza what you want to know about it and y'all try to make the question a little bit more specific i know yesterday we was kind of all over the place and i was just answering generally but you know a lot of people had a lot of follow-up questions in my dm stuff that they could have asked on the live that was could have been a little bit more specific so just ask that but either way i'm still gonna reply regardless but y'all just be a little bit more specific can you pin the herb book it's not a herb book it's a hold up i'm gonna I'm put it right here eat right for your blood type I, the last thing I need is for this stand to fall. Please stay up. That's why I don't like tapping on this thing while I'm on here. Yeah, it's not an herb book. It's just a book about like the origins of blood. And like prime example, O types, O stands for the original blood, the original people. A, B stands for, it's the, A, B is the newest, most rarest form of blood. You know, so like if you really want to get that book and dive into it, it tells you basically everything about your blood type, the origins of it, what herbs work the best for you, what type of movement works the best for you, what type of foods were like. It's it's very, very, very accurate. Now, granted, times have changed. Quality. You got, now, here's what the critical thinking kicks in. Time has changed. 
you know, qualities of food have changed. A lot of things have changed since this book was made. But I will say that, you know, if you source properly, you find what works and what doesn't work for your body and use that as your beginning, your base model, your guide, you should be good. You should be pretty, pretty good. Uh, are eggs bad? I, we had, you know, it's funny. We had this talk yesterday. I feel like the closest you're going to get to organic or decent is um, cage free, free range. I mean, my bad, free range. But I will say this the best ones are the ones that's probably going to leave you with the with little to any problems. It's going to be the ones that you grow yourself. That's one of my biggest goals is like whenever I get enough land and stuff like that, excuse me, is to have not a farm, but like, you know, enough livestock to where I can just be independent, be on my own. I have to worry about grocery shopping as much and still do what I have to do. But the reason why most eggs these days help feed viruses is because they're soy and they're corn fed and they're locked up in these cages and they're dumped up with hormones. So like if that's how they're grooming them, that's how they're raising them and feeding them, of course it's going to pass over. But whenever you get more towards the free range and let's say you have your own chickens and stuff like that, you know what you're going to feed them. You're going to try to feed them the best because you know that whatever you put into your soil, whatever you put into your livestock is going to come back to you if you decide to eat it or consume it, whether it be meat or vegetable or fruit, whatever. But I feel like that's my standpoint on that. Thoughts on fasting. Fasting is very important. Fast is, fasting is one of the quickest ways to heal the body. And I, I I don't want you guys to think that like, oh, I'm fast and I can't eat or drink nothing for blah, 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 blah. In most cases, it's actually better to like start off with oftentimes tell people do like mono fasting or stick to like one style of fasting. So if you're going to fast, if you're new to it, let's only do fruits and vegetables. And then you switch to a fruits only fast. And then you switch to a fruit juice fast. Mix it with a little bit of distilled water here and there. I feel like the most, we talked about this yesterday, the most, and I even posted about this the other day, um, real critical deep tissue detoxification in its highest level is water and fruit juice. That's the that's the most advanced you could probably get once you, of course you're mixing it with herbs and stuff like that. But I feel like that's the deepest you can go because your body doesn't, when you chewing something, swallowing something and digesting something as opposed to drinking it or in a cold press form is two totally different processes. It doesn't even go through the intestines the same way. You know, so the whole point of fasting is to give the body a break, give the body a chance to recover, give the body a chance to rebuild and heal a lot faster, you know, rather than, cause you got, people don't realize it costs calories and our energy to even stay alive like even if you wasn't to eat anything at all today you still burn x amount of calories to keep yourself alive to heal like it's, it's all just energy at the end of the day you know so i really want you guys if you decide to start fasting if you decide to start detoxifying your body to lead yourself with that type of mindset as opposed to like oh well, i'm gonna just go and grab and and just do the most harshest thing you know what this person just get lax no it doesn't work like that that's reasons why people like me people like tell people like becoming blessings uh be like um we make like like on my site you'll see you go to coachbrian.com i'll hit the link in my bio like i got the 10-day detox i got the seven day detox you know it's a protocol designed to help you wean yourself into it because a lot of people don't really know how to detox they come on social media they see oh you got to do this you got to hardcore do this blah 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 and they're unaware of detox symptoms because that's the thing they're un they unaware of parasitic die-off symptoms that's also a thing prime example um our dogs you know they're uh in the process of their their seasonal deworming medicine right now they're acting totally different why is because whenever parasites and worms and things of that things of that nature whether they be on the macro or micro scale when they die off you have what's called die-off symptoms and a lot of those uh parasites are ammonia based so when that ammonia dissolves and releases back into the system and those detox pathways are open and it's coming out you're going to be groggy you're going to be agitated you you you're going to go through x y and z no telling what happens but it has to come out reasons why we talked about the sauna box yesterday you want to alleviate a little bit faster while you're on the detox cleanse neti pots and sauna boxes but i sell that to say be careful take your time study you know and if you got questions ask them that's why people like us are here you know we ain't trying to be all out here and be all flashy and blah 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 or this is the one I, that's one thing you'll never hear me say oh this is the one and only way to hit blah 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 the more and more if y'all take the time to do what i did the past 10 years and what I'm continuing to do for the rest of my life and just be a student of health and just be a student of herbal medicine, of wellness and things of that nature. You realize that so many different cultures, so many different groups, so many different ways of life all have their way of healing. And there's no one way to heal one thing. You have Dr. Robert Morris, who heals cancer patients off of grape, uh, grape diets. You have uh, um, Ginger DeClue. I don't know what type of cancer um, uh 
results she's had but like I'll, if you watch and study her page like she has her own methodology of that you look at yaki awake and he has his own way i have my own way you know it's like everybody has their own way granted it stems from a lot of the same information but every tribe every society every healer ever whatever we're all one i look at it as one big team whatever i can't give you somebody else can whatever they can't give you i probably can give you but it's not one way to do it. not one person has the ultimate key to you know what i'm saying so and I could talk about that on and on, but that's that's just how I feel about that type of stuff. When it comes down to fasting and detoxifying yourself, take your time. Don't rush it. Take your time. Because there's a lot to it that most people don't know. Book called Eat Right For Your Blood Type. Yeah, it's down. That's the one I have pinned down here for right now. It's a black and... Well, no, it's a white and red book. I don't know why I say black. It's a white and red book. At least the copy that I have is a white and red book. I, I think I have... Which, which edition of the book is this? Because he might have changed it. This is the... I had to pull this up. I think this is like the third edition or second edition. I'm only seeing one in three, so I'm assuming it's that, but that, that print is too small. But yeah. Let's see. What's going on, Roth? I hope I said your name right. What's going on, y'all? A lot of hellos. A lot of, hey, how y'all doing? I'm doing good. Hey, you one of the first people to ask that. I love when people come here next time I'm doing. I'm doing great. You know, I'm taking my time and doing what I feel is best out here, learning out here, teaching. It's fun, y'all. Let's see. Thank you. You're welcome. Scrolling through, trying to get some more of these questions. Well, a lot of people up here. I love people with manners. She said, hello, everyone. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, y'all. Um, That's pretty much it whenever it comes out to like detoxification and stuff like that. I don't really like to force it on people. I don't really like prime example. I have clients that they come to me and they have, well, I have this problem. I have that problem. I have this problem. And I'm just sitting here like, okay, let's target, even though, even though you can target one thing or the main source of the problem. And oftentimes tell people most problems are systemic, just like acidosis is systemic. When you start leaning more on the acidic side of life, you start getting more diseases. When you start moving towards more on the alkaline side of life, you get healing. But I oftentimes tell people we're they're chasing this purely alkaline diet and blah 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 blah. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but you can never be too much of either because if you're 100 percent on the alkaline side, then you're dead. If you're 100 percent on the uh, acidic side, you're dead. So it's good to be neutral. It's good to well, I ain't gonna say neutral. It's good to be balanced. You know, I, I feel like, I lo and don't get me wrong, I love the movement. I love, you know, the plant-based movement, the vegan movement, the fruitarian movement, all these healthy wellness movements. But I feel like what's lacking in this, I ain't even going to say extremist way of, of, my, of mindsets, but like, but this very focused and tunnel visual, tunnel vision way of thinking is that you need balance overall. Because one thing I've learned with my clients is, yes, I, one thing I will say that reigns supreme is a high fruit volume diet will lead to the most levels of the highest levels of detoxification and it does heal but i've seen people hit strong plateaus with mostly fruits especially my old types and then i throw in a little bit of okay well they say oh, i don't want to completely ditch meat i want to blah 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 and i can't i can't say oh well that's the only blah 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 no if that's what you want to do cool but let's moderate it let's let's do it like this and then they get on the 80 20 or they go on the 70 30 and some of them just want mostly fish because they, they've come from pescatarian backgrounds or Mediterranean backgrounds. And that's fine. But we still work around that and they still heal. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I have nothing against the only the only I'm not even going to talk about that. But I, I don't really have anything against a lot of these dietary movements. But my thing is, I feel like if we're going to go that hard behind wellness and eating like this and doing this. OK, well, we need to go just as hard with balance and independent. Well, individual critical thinking, because. This may not work for this person. It may work, but it may not work to its fullest degree for this person as it should for this person. This may not stick with this person like it sticks to this person. Now, granted, astringency in fruits is astringency in fruits. They're going to go in the body. They're going to clean. They're going to do what they have to do. They're the hardest workers. I get that. But some people's bodies just don't comply. Nobody's all. And if, and if that was the case, nobody would. We wouldn't all really be getting sick with these different unique type of this and this type of that. And this person developed this because if every single body was completely the same, 100 percent like copy paste, then, OK, we would have one way of wellness, one way of dietary instructive, one way of this, one way of that. And then nobody would get sick. But that's not the world that we live in, at least in my opinion. That's just not the world that we live in. So until we get to that point or genetics, whatever, 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 we have a lot of commonalities. A lot of things are very similar. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that somebody, you know, like 
half of the nation's hearts are here and other hearts are behind their kidneys. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is like nothing, nothing exactly is the same and reacts exactly the same. Not everybody's mineral balances and their levels can handle certain type of things, you know? So, but that's, that's just where I'm at. That's just where I'm at with it. Hello, what is your take on Iris Seamoss? I'm not I'm not gonna say CMOS is bad. I feel as though CMOS, when you actually source it correctly, it's highly beneficial. But what I don't like is how commercialized CMOS is now and how people that's just trying to get a quick bag are not sourcing their moss properly and then because you can actually get sick off of like improper moss. You can actually like it can or it can just yield little to any benefit as opposed to getting the right things. You know, so if you're a CMOS person, you want to do CMOS, that's not my specialty. Don't come to me for that. But what I will say is source it yourself. Take the time. Oh, this person is selling blah, 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 blah. And everybody saying, oh, it's the best. It's the this, that, and the third. Okay, cool. I'm going to find out why it's the best. I'm going to find out where y'all source it from. I'm going to see if this is the type that I want and I need and that's going to be good for me. Because if not, it ain't for me. It ain't for me. But do your thing. CMOS in general is really good if you get it right. I found out that I'm A positive and I can't eat bananas. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I said this yesterday, uh, and I'm gonna say it again today. A types and B types are bougie. Like, well, y'all, y'all digestive systems are bougie, bougie because like I'm a like I said before, I'm a B. I, don't, I could do the best of both worlds. I ain't gonna lie to you. Now, bananas, kind of. How can I put it? Bananas, kind of. Uh, they kind of help me gain weight, but they kind of make me. A little too energetic i guess the way the starch is hitting my system but bananas like bananas coconuts mangoes uh cantaloupes uh oranges for sure and like plantains yeah a type should not be eating that that's on y'all avoid list it's just the banana the lectin like the banana lectin interferes with your digestion so it's like you gotta substitute that for like a uh, other high potassium fruit like um like apricots uh figs and uh uh, uh, grapefruit or like kiwi stuff like that. You start doing that because it's really, it really is all about the stomach. It's all about the stomach. Like the reason why, and see that, and see that goes back to what I was saying before. Is like there's not one way for one type. Is like you have to make sure that which and then and and listen to your body. I had a I have a, a client. She's O O positive, and if y'all if y'all my clients and you are you O type, you already know what I'm about to say. One thing I say is stay away from apple juice. That junk bloats y'all up so bad. Like, it just don't sit right with y'all. And, like, she was not looking at her list. Well, she was. She would go out and shop at her list. But she, I guess she would just be skipping over the juice section or she just wasn't really paying attention. And she was like, I've been trying to stomach this apple juice all week. Because she's on her juice phase right now. So, like, we're only doing uh, certain days. It's only fruit juice and blah, 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 certain herbs, you know. And... She was like, I was trying to stomach it. My body didn't want it. And I was bloating. I felt, no, I was like, you know, that's on your avoid list, right? She was like, huh? I was like, yeah, you're not supposed to be eating that. You know, so, hey, it is what it is. Is the fruit detox okay for diabetics or pre-diabetics? For sure. Like, let's, we talked about it yesterday, but I could talk about it again today. When it comes down to diabetes, we're talking about inflammation our degeneration, our, our resistance going on within the pancreas. Everything that has to do with diabetes is um is all about, well, I ain't going to say all about, but it's typically the pancreas. It's like a slight acidosis within the pancreas. And I oftentimes tell people that, you know, it's not, prime example, my um my grandmother, she's pre-diabetic. We talked about, God dang, we talk about, I'm just thinking about all stuff I'm saying, we talked about this yesterday. Um, my grandmother is considered pre-diabetic right now, you know, and it's like, I've been helping her certain teas I've been putting on, you know, basically informing her on how and why certain things are moving, how they, how they're moving within her body. Cause she's like, well, I wasn't always feeling like this before. And I'm blah, 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 blah. And she's like, I don't want to really eat fruits because my doctor said I got to wash my sugar. And the doctor isn't wrong. But like we said two days ago, there's a difference between fruit sugar and between fruit sugar and, and junk food sugar and like all them high carbs and stuff like that, you have what's called monosaccharides, which are our simple sugars, which cannot be broken down any more than what they are. And then you have poly or disaccharides. So the difference between a monosaccharide and a poly or disaccharide is a monosaccharide is an actual fruit, an organic fruit. A polysaccharide is a candy or it's like some soda or it's, it's, it's like 
any processed food or whatever. So you got to remember, because everybody be like, well, sugar is not the best for humans and blah, blah, blah. No sugar mixed with oxygen is actually the carbon pieces, pieces of the carbon constituents that we need for our body to actually move and flourish. When you break everything down to what it is, it's typically amino acids, which turn into or is a body by and helps and gets energized and move with um, sugars. The most simple. And then you start talking about adenosine triphos triphosphate and stuff like that. But we're not going to dive into that. But when it comes down to like diabetes and things of that nature, it's like. It's a I don't want to it's labeled as a chronic disorder and they start talking about like how it's. um it can't metabolize the right way, you know, so you have decrease in insulin within the pancreas and that's what gives the high rise to like the high blood sugar levels, like the glucose, which is typically eliminated in the urine, you know, uh, by the kidneys. But then you start talking about like how the insulin production gets low and then the resistance gets low and they can't process. But if we're going to call a spade a spade and we're going to actually treat it how it's supposed to be, most diabetics that I deal with. I put them on, there's an herb called bilberry. I put them on milk thistle. I put them on dandelion root. And then we actually have days according to their blood type where it's like, okay, we're going to fruit flush. So we're going to eat fruits and fruit juices. Then we're going to have days where we do mostly fruit juices. They're going to stay away from meat for sure, you know, for that time period. So let's say it's like a week or two. And then, yeah, you're going to get, don't get me wrong, you're going to get that, whoop, you're going to get that spike at first, but that's because the body is trying to regulate, you know, the actual natural sugars. And then, they, then you omit all the other junk they've been eating, all the other the crap they've been eating, and then oh well, my my levels are better. My my vision is not as dizzy, it's not as bad. Oh, I'm not I'm not tired. Oh, my my pee doesn't have all these bubbles and stuff in it. Oh, my um my uh my uh my fatigue is going and stuff like that. You know, like when you start talking about diabetes and stuff like that, especially if it's if it's involving the adrenal glands, the kidneys, and the pancreas, of course you're gonna need something that's actually gonna be able to flush it out and energize it and help it metabolize at the same time because what let's think about it let's take a step back if i if my if i'm a if i'm a kidney and i have my adrenal gland you know kidneys and adrenal gland that's all one big thing and i'm trying to process sugars and filtrate and stuff like that and you putting a whole bunch of poly and disaccharides like we talked about the complex sugars inside of me that requires more what that requires more cortisol and if i'm pumping out everyday loads of cortisol 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 then the pancreas and the liver like bruh Bro, what you got going on up there? What they, what they keep sending down in the system? And then all of that's just making us tired, tired. We can't process. We running out. We run. Oh, my God. Hey, y'all, just take a step back. And now the pancreas tired and all worn out. They can't do half of what it has to do. Your, your kidneys and your, like everything is going crazy. But whenever we we're eating fruits that we're supposed to eat, whenever we're actually eating the simple sugars and we're hydrated and we're moving around and we're stretching and we're avoiding all the other stuff. All of a sudden, the cortisol levels go down. All of a sudden, the kidneys start filtrating how they're supposed to. All of a sudden, I don't have to pee as much. But when I do pee, I don't have all these bubbles in it. Oh, all of a sudden, I have my energy back. I'm not as weak. Oh, I, I don't. I'm not worried about glaucoma and all the type of like. You know, you feel what I'm saying? It's like everything has its own system. Everything, everything works how it needs to work. You know, but we have to be smart enough, or we have to put two and two together to either dive into it, ask the questions like we're on on here, like we're doing like that. Or take the time to seek another level of wellness that we haven't before. Because I promise y'all, just like I could take the time to go and study all of this stuff, I feel as though every I, I, don't, I don't like thinking about myself as higher than anybody. I don't like thinking about myself as smarter than anybody. It's just that I just work hard and I just study hard. But I feel like if this is what you're going through, not saying I'm, I'm fussing at you, but like if this is what you are said person is going through, you know, take the time to really dive into that type of stuff. Because you'll be surprised how a simple dietary treatment will work for the body. I'm not talking medicine. I'm not talking like going and, and swallow all of these pills that third, like a simple get on some teas, start eating right, you know, start worried about your fruit intake and all that type of stuff. If you have to get on supplementation, do that. But watch how much that would change the game for you and watch how fast that can heal you. But that, but look, I'm just, that's just me. That's just me. That's just me speaking about me. Thank you so much for your wellness information. Y'all welcome. Y'all welcome. Oh, positive been craving salty and crunchy things. Pretty sure I need to drink more water. But I would say this salty and crunchy. That's a uh, I'm not going to put you out like that. But I'll just say this. I have made a video on it. Certain cravings mean certain things. So if you need something that's salty and crazy and crazy and uh, crunchy, you know, that's more so related with stress and anger. And then you have you're not getting enough. Uh, not even so you're not getting enough of the minerals that you need based off of the other foods that you're eating but also it may be a time and there may be a signal for your body that's saying okay we need a quick little flush we need a reset so it's and that's here's another thing let me this makes me think about this intermittent fasting is not bad 
but how you move in and out of the fasting determines the quality of the fast and if you're actually doing harm or you're doing something to your benefit because just because you're taking hours out of the day to not eat and then you come back and eat some gunk you did nothing I'm, and I hate to burst anybody bubble in here that does that, but you're doing nothing. The whole point of fasting is to give the body a break. And then, like promising, we talked about yesterday. Technically, when you're sleeping, you're fasting because your body's healing. Your body's not eating. Your body's not doing nothing. It's just in the state of being. It's just there. So when you wake up, why is the first thing on your mind to eat is something heavy? Did you even have a bowel movement yet? You know, you should drink water. You should drink a. You should drink some tea. You should do some, like, prime example, I'm AB positive. So I got to kickstart my stomach. I give me some warm water, drink me a little bit of that. Or if I'm doing like a tea, I make my little, I like hot, like my concoction lately has been hot berry, ginseng, um, burdock, and a little bit of some other stuff here and there. I can't remember. I just be grabbing stuff sometimes with depending. I have sections, so I know I could just grab and go. But, um, but, but y'all can also do like, uh, what, what I also do is grapefruit juice. It's really, really, really good for my digestive system. And then if I haven't had a bowel movement, then I'll just drink water until I get a bowel movement. I'll drink fruit juice until I get a bowel movement. And then I'll eat something. If you fasting and then you go to eat something heavy and then all if it's gunk and you come out of a fast, you are doing more damage than benefit. And your body's like, well, what was the point of us not doing nothing and starving for 10 hours? You coming back and putting all this greasy bacon and fried chicken and waffle fries is it's like what, what, what we was doing. What we was doing. Now, granted, you calorically eat less, but then sometimes you don't. Most people don't calorically eat less because you come back off the fast and you hungry. You're not even thinking properly. You did meal prep. So after the fast, you don't, you didn't have anything already cooked. You didn't have anything already weighed out and scaled out and counted out. So you're looking for food and every, look, we all human. When you hungry, the worst place to go is to go get something that's already made for you. Like I'll go to grocery shopping or go to fast food or whatever, because you're going to order and try to scarf down as much as you can because you are drastically hungry. So what's better to do is, okay, have a plan. You always should go into something with a plan. All right, I just finished this fast. I just finished not doing nothing, not eating nothing for eight to ten hours. I bet the first thing I should do is X, Y, and Z. You know, like everything we just talked about, hydrate first, have a bowel movement first, and then worry about putting something inside of your system. Like if you, and let's say you're not intermittent, intermittent fasting, you're big to me. This is just me. Your what I found works for me and my clients is that twelve one o'clock should be your biggest meal, or should be your 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 most your biggest meal, you know, and then you just kind of, you just go down from there. But people are like, well, I'm working and I'm just adding the third. Your biggest doesn't necessarily have to be huge. If you feel what I'm saying. So it's like you have from the time you wake up till 12 o'clock to be on some type of rhythm. I wake up every morning. I do my juices that in the third and I have my fruits. I go train my clients. And t typically most times I don't even eat until I I'm done training my clients. I come back. And then I'll probably start cooking and stuff like that. But by the time I, I'm eating my actual, like my 12 o'clock, my one o'clock, sometimes three, sometimes the, the three is the heaviest meal for me. And everybody's job is different. I get it. Everybody's stuff is different. But I'm not trying to be eating heavy after like five, six o'clock because my body's trying to prepare for rest. My body's trying to prepare for expulsion. My body's trying to prepare to recover. How can I properly recover and heal while I'm sleeping if I just ate a whole bunch of rice and whatever before I slept? Or if I ate a whole bunch of ice cream, a whole bunch of this, that, and the third, or I ate myself into a food sleep and then I'm not gonna wake up till it's time for me to go to work the next morning. You are setting yourself up for failure. And then you can't even heal. Wonder why you're gassy. Wonder why you're all irritable. Wondering why you, 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 your breath hot. Even though I brush my teeth, my breath still stinks. You have indigestion. You have stuff still fermenting inside of your stomach. You know, but that's a, that's a whole other conversation. But if you're somebody that's craving with salty and crunchy things, it's time that you give your system a little break. You should flush, focus more so on fruit juices, fruits and vegetables, things of that nature, and then come back with the lean meats. If you're a meat eater, come back with that later on. But your body needs a break. Or your body is missing minerals. So like so O-types, you should be on... um. You should be on, I don't even want to lie. Let me pull up the list because like certain herbs kind of cross my mind sometimes. Let me see if I can find the list real quick. Uh, yeah, so you should be on like uh, dandelion, ginger, chickweed, cayenne, uh, parsley, sarsaparilla, peppermint, stuff like that. You know, so and that's another thing, too. If you're an old type, because I know we talked about chlorophyll yesterday, but I forgot to clarify. Um, If you're doing chlorella or chlorophyll, that's great. But don't get the ones that's alfalfa base. I get the one that's alfalfa base because alfalfa is amazing for AB blood types. And alfalfa is just really, really good. It's a really good nettle. It's very, very astringent. It cleans out amazingly when it comes down to excessive mucus, um, constipation, all that type of stuff. But if you're an O-type, avoid alfalfa. It's not the best for y'all. 
So if you get the chlorophyll, get the peppermint based one. I get the uh, get the. I, th- I believe chloroxygen is not alfalfa based. Let me check. Let me. I don't want to tell y'all the wrong thing. Let me double check real quick. But I believe chloroxygen is um. I don't believe that it's alfalfa based. Let me see. Okay, I see the front. I want to see the back. I hate. Don't y'all hate that? It's like you pull up something and they show you the front. It's like yeah, I know what it is, but I want to see the show me the facts. Show me the back. The front is for entertainment. The back is for education. All the time, I tell that to people. Don't look at the front to learn nothing from no food or nothing. Look at the back. Now I want to pop up, and it is not. Um, no, it's mint. It's mint based. So yeah, you good. You don't have to worry about. Yeah, go get chloroxygen, and you should be fine. All right. Great questions, by the way, y'all. While wow, that's so true, apple juice. Yeah, I'll be trying to tell them. This is deep. No, nah, it's not. It's not too deep. Cause I mean, I f- I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I've been doing this for ten years. I've been doing this for a decade. I don't. F- I still don't like when I think about my mentors and people that I've studied under and people that I and like like bodies of work that I'm studying. I still feel like I'm a baby, because it's like it it can get really really deep. Don't get me wrong, but it's like. For the amount of knowledge I've consumed so, so far, it's enough to definitely heal people. But it's like, I don't feel like I can go to a university and be a professor of the mastery degree. You know, I feel like that's people with like 30 plus years in the game. Because, man, just imagine the amount of knowledge and the amount of life that not only you've affected, but you've consumed within 30 years, three decades of information. Bro, that's, and then you get to, that's the beautiful thing about aging. You get to watch the world change. You get to watch how these different things, like, it, it, oh, man, bro, like, don't even get me started on getting old. I love that stuff. I love people that's older than me, and they start coming through talking that talk, and you get to ask them questions. I love stuff like that. Now, I don't think this is deep to me, honestly, but, hey, to each his own. Hey, watch him out. Watch him out. You can't be saying that up in here. Who is this? Oh, yeah, you getting blocked. Uh-uh, I'm blocking him. Don't be coming up in here talking like that. What's wrong with you? can't use the n-word at people like that are you crazy yeah this is a little rule for thumb y'all i believe in the, i know i'm nice on here but like i believe in the block button if you coming up in here talking about all this nigga this nigga that blah 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 and you know especially if you don't know me like that i'm blocking you don't try that with me do not try that with me that is so disrespectful you don't know what we talking about you don't know who's in here you never know who's actually watching or a part of something don't disrespect yourself like that especially if you're not black don't come up in here talking to me like that ridiculous filthy I, I ugh. sorry this is my first time this is awesome yes it is thank you i'm trying to teach the peoples thank you so much for the information whatever y'all want to know i'm trying my i know i haven't been because i'm trans i'm migrating from tiktok to here tiktok is just too much tiktok is led by too much i, I did good over there i'm almost at 200 000 subscribers but let me tell you something I just post on that and I literally log off. I post I post on here first. I post on that and I log off. But Instagram has become my new home. So I'm trying to get into the habit of like in between my consultations. Like I don't have, I'm not, I don't have to leave till later on. I've done most of my consultations for the day. I'm just answering emails and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm just going to take the time to talk. And I love talking with y'all on here. Y'all have like Instagram, y'all different. Other than them two clowns, the one today and the one from yesterday. Other than them, like, you know, y'all good. I love y'all questions. I love the vibe. Y'all be, y'all be, y'all some good people. I am never hungry, eat much, had cancer since then, have a problem eating, only can get a few bites in, then I'm full and I'll, I'm always hungry to the point I feel like I'll do, okay, we got to work on this. I know you probably, I'm not, just, just message me because I'm not really understanding what you're saying, the way you typed it out, but I will say this, if you're somebody who has and or had cancer, I need to know specifically what type so we can dive into that if you want to, Um, but at the same time, you if you can start like we talked about earlier with dr robin morris start getting more astringent things within your body so nettles grapes things of that nature to where it can help clean out the obstructions that you may have or any type of whatever and that's another thing too once you've got once your body has gotten to the point of being precancerous or cancerous or post-cancerous you know it's like a lot it's time to heal don't get me wrong but a lot has has taken place so just like we talked about earlier with detoxification don't rush the process if you're not eating a lot and you can't eat a lot or when you are hungry you eat in surplus and then you just not hungry for a while make sure the things that you're eating when you do eat are very very nutritious for your body make sure it's pure for your body make sure it's meant to go in 
infiltrate, do his job, and then get out. And then also, if you can, get on some herbs and be and just be strict. If your body has gotten to that form to where it's like you had to deal with cancer and things of that nature, then guess what? You have to make sure that until you get back to whatever or pass, surpass a certain level of health that you was at, you have to take your time and you have to be very, very disciplined about what you eat. Very and about the things you eat, the things you put on your skin, all of that type of stuff. Be very, very, very disciplined about that to where you can make sure that you one, you don't relapse, but two, you give your body an experience in a form of muscle memory to be like, oh, well, this is how we're supposed to work. This is how we're supposed to blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? So just give your body a fighting chance. And I feel like you can do it, too. I, I, I tell that to a lot of people. It's like I said this the other day. Was it yesterday I did before? Like wellness isn't that hard. Life is hard. But wellness and tapping into health and tapping into what you need to know is not that hard. You just have to make sure that you're diligent. I feel like a lot of people, and I'm not talking about you, I'm just speaking in general. I feel like a lot of people struggle with consistency. A lot of people struggle with being disciplined because we live in a day and age to where it's fast. I want it now. Get it done. Got a pill for it. Got a tea for it. And it's the rest. No. Give your body time to heal and to grow and to learn. Heal, grow, learn. And then watch the fruits that come from those seeds that you planted. But I feel like just message me, message me, because I feel like either way this is going to be a very personal and a very deep conversation. So we need to we need to talk about that. Great to be on live with you. I had protein with my fruits, my warm water, chia seeds, lemon every day. What type of protein? I don't really like. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't like mixing fruits with meat. Because I'm assuming you're talking about meat when you say protein. I do not like mixing fruits with meat. Like. It just even even outside of my blood type, it's like I don't know how people do that. It's like is it just don't sit too well. It just when I look at it, my body be like, Mm-mm, this ain't this ain't it. Like I, I just can't. I don't know how y'all do it. I mean, if y'all can, more power to y'all. If it's not messing with y'all and it's healing y'all, more power to y'all. But I just cannot mix fruit with meat. I ha- like I get repulsed behind it. I don't even know what. I don't. It might be a meat thing. I don't know. But if that but if that's what's been working for you, go ahead, my dude. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Tal. I just realized Tal was up in here. What's up, Tal? Praise God, you warned him. Are you talking about old dude from earlier? Yeah, I don't I don't I don't I don't do that. I don't do that type of stuff. I don't I don't I don't like all that type of stuff. What advice for diabetics? I'm assuming you just came up in here. Uh but I don't want to give that that same big long speech because the people are gonna start getting bored. But one message me so I can I can definitely help you out a little bit more. Just slide my DMs. But I'll say this: focus on fruits that bring you. Well, I'll say this: focus on fruits. Cut away from all the processed foods and processed sugars and things of that nature. Hydrate yourself first thing in the morning. Make sure your bowel movements are regular, and start getting on bilberry, bilberry and alfalfa leaves. That's really really good for you. Politeness is so attractive. Yes, it is. I have seizures and it's hard to lose weight due to stress. Um, it seizures could come from a lot of different things. So I and if you can't lose weight due to stress, that's another sign of cortisol, cortisol imbalance. So you definitely want to message me because then once again, that's something that's a little bit more uh precise. I I want to use the right word precise. So I don't want to just give too much of a general answer for that and people start running with that. But oftentimes, what I notice is people that suffer with seizures, it's high key. Uh, cortisol mineral imbalance but you can focus on nettles you can focus on um what it was uh, ginkgo biloba is a good one go to cola is another one um eye bright is definitely another one that's a good circulation for the brain and also make sure that you don't have like a um a brain um what they call that it's a it's a metabolic brain disorder i'm not saying you do but if you can check into that check into that because what i've noticed between like se- people with seizures and people with like Depro- or just mental disorders in general is like, and not saying you have one. I'm just saying I just want to be very broad. I'm not talking about you. I just, you know, just want to put some food for thought out there. But go check out um and see if you have like any type of, you know, like brain metabolic fluctuations or anything like that because that plays a big role in how the neurons fire. You know how your memory goes back and forth, the signals that's being shot through the uh, parasympathetic system and things like that. So make sure you kind of have all those things in balance. But typically, people that suffer with like a lot of seizures, a lot of brain problems and stuff like that, it's high key mineral imbalances. And yeah, it's neurological. I'm not going to sit and talk, talk like it's not neurological because the misfires themselves do cause seizures and things of that nature. But let's focus on minerals. Let's focus on astringency and let's focus on rebuilding the minerals that's supposed to go to the brain and help the body out. 
I tried the AB negative diet. I can't drink milk. What's the best milk? I don't see. And you just like me, like I said before, I don't, I don't do milk. I can't do milk. I don't like nut milk. I don't like regular. I don't like no milk. So me personally, I just say omit milk in general because it don't sit right with me. It don't, I, it's just not. So if you AB like me, I just say quit milk. I never really had a tie to it like that. Like growing up in the South, yeah, we had what's called Kush Kush and stuff like that, you know, so we would mix milk with like different types of cornbread and all those other types of cereals and all that. But as I got older, it just, especially when I got to college, like it's just not for me. I don't like milk. I'm not a fan. I don't need it. Any ideas gaining weight? Oh, positive blood type. Generally just not hungry. Um, I would say flush because oftentimes the body can't receive what it needs to because certain things are blocking it. But I would say if you can't flush and if you're not really hungry, focus on things. Start eating more leafy greens for sure, but start focusing on more calorically dense things whenever you actually do eat. You know, most things that, uh, op, op, what it was, it was positive or negative, I forgot. But like when it comes down to like weight gain in general, weight gain in general, a lot of old people tend to go the wheat route because wheat, um, it helps in weight gain. But here's the, here's the, here's the, the back and forth behind that wheat isn't the best for y'all but it does help y'all bulk up real quick but the downside is you might get digestive stagnation or you might get lymphatic stagnation so the reason why i say cleanse was because if you take the time to actually cleanse out your stomach cleanse out your system the things that you do eat it can grab it and metabolize it a lot better you'll be surprised you you can eat something let's say you eat um let's say you eat uh we're trying to come up with a meal in my head real quick for you so like let's say you do brown rice broccoli salmon Let's say that's that's your meal and your body only grabs so much that you eat that for like a week and you don't really gain no weight. But then you take two weeks, a week to two weeks. So like I ain't even gonna say fully flush because it takes a little longer than that. But at least to like kind of well, let's let's say let's say a month. No, let's go for a full flush. Let's say like a month to like really flush out with some fruit juices, some vegetable juices. You're drinking your water, you're biking, you're working out and like you're really flushing yourself out. And you go back and eat that same meal for a week after that. You'll puff up immediately because it can grab now your body can actually metabolize and grab things a lot better. But what I will say is, especially if you're struggling with appetite, don't force it. Unless you're like really like anorexic and stuff like that. Of course, you need to flush it and eventually put some meat on your bones. But if you're just doing it just to get quote unquote thick, like they say these days, that's your body telling you that your metabolic acidity is like, eh, it's not too good. You know, it's like we need to kind of like we want to stay where we at. If we plateau in here, we're good. But if that's not the case, and you want to dive in a little bit deeper. You know what? You should actually sign up for my one-on-one program. Um, y'all click the link in my bio if you want. I didn't even. Rob, on here just want to tell y'all. So I'll be forgetting that I do stuff for people. <laughs> just go to my. Just sign up my one-on-one, or you can just slide my DMs. You know, we could talk about it. You can join the program. But I feel like there's a lot of ways you can tackle that. Oh, the beautiful thing, the beautiful, beautiful thing about the old, the old blood is that, like I said before, y'all can basically eat almost anything. But y'all so intricate at the same time. It's like y'all, y'all blood, y'all type. I don't want, I want to use the right words. It's like y'all makeup in general is so active. It's so strong. It's so because y'all come from the original hunters and stuff like that. So y'all crave like that. Ah, I want to go get it. I want to, you know, like that's y'all thing. So it's like, it's, it's just interesting to see somebody that has old because most old types, they gain weight like that. Like it's not hard for them to gain weight. So for you, so for you to say, well, I'm just not hungry. I'm not really gaining weight. I'm an old type. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. So just, I would say, holla at me. I got you. Give me a second. I gotta uh, take this charge out. Once again, I am not rich. I have one of the first iPhones. <laughs> I have one camera. So this thing is on the stand and it overheats very quickly. I have a crack on my screen, y'all. I'm not. I'm not rich. <laughs> I just look. I spent all my money on books, as y'all can see. So. Look, bear with me and my little beat up iPhone. That's why I'm using this because my mic on here sounds like somebody got cotton balls in it. It's weird. What does lemon do for you? Lemons are so extremely astringent. They are some of the best detoxifiers in the game. Raw Marabi, he um he's real big on like liver cleanses. Like he will literally get the lemon, he'll put them in a blender. Like he ain't rolling them out. He will put the whole lemon in the blender, blend that joint up. I think he did like water and some other stuff. It might have been honey. So I forgot what it was. But um, he do that for like weeks, and like his like it's crazy. Lemons are highly, highly, highly detoxifying for the body. Run with that if you want that. What deodorants do you recommend? We talked about chloroxygen, chlorophyll, and chlorella earlier. Those things are natural uh intestinal deodorants and on the inside, so that'll help out with your breath and your perspiration. But um, just find natural ones, bro. Like towel, if she's still up in here, towel body by towel, or body love by towel. 
she has great natural products. Her deal, like she literally shows people how to make it and she makes it for you. You can order it. That's the really hurt between I just go get her stuff. Like it's so hard to find good natural deodorants these days. Y'all go you'll go get her stuff. Let's see. Liquid protein mix. You talking about protein powder? What are you talking about? What's up, Shar? I just realized Shar in the building. What's happening, Shar? Let's see. Arthritis and back. So when it comes down to arthritis, I like to think about arthritis as crystallized waste between the joints, ligaments, and things of that nature. A lot of people talked about this the other day. I think I actually still have the post on my page too. You can go check that out after you finish out of here with me. But arth- people that suffer with arthritis tend to love a lot of sugar, but especially like coffees and sodas and all that type of gunky type of stuff. And they don't really eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. And I noticed that. So it's like what I would say is um, definitely start getting on like some milk thistle, some dandelion root. You can get on some alfalfa. You can get on some stinging nettle root. Uh, um, Panax ginseng, Siberian gins- ginseng is really good. You can get on sarsaparilla, you can get on burdock root. A lot of herbs help for that, but really it's the diet. It's mostly the diet. If you're eating a bunch of sugars and you know your body can't take that, especially, if, especially that's another thing too. If you're not moving around and you're not stretching, I'm not saying you'll develop arthritis like that, but like motion is lotion. I try to tell that to people. Like working out and moving isn't you going in the gym and bench pressing 200 something pounds. It ain't just that. I mean, granted, that's cool. You want to get stronger. You want to get your aesthetic on. That's cool. But it's like, you know, stretch simple. Like go look at, go research blue zone. Go look, go research like Japan and China and all of that. They wake up, they do their little thing, da, 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 all that type of stuff. They stretching and they flowing and all of that, that Tai Chi and all that. That works. That works. Them people, them people grow old and grow old. Well, because they do stuff like that on a day-to-day basis and they eat well. They grow their own stuff. They mostly walk everywhere they got to go. They believe in hydration. Like they believe in their good herbs and stuff like that. They're real big on teas. That's why the people live so long. I'm telling y'all, bro, especially like out here, I'm surrounded more so by uh, Laotians, Taiwanese people. And like, uh, well, on the, the, the more the Eastern side of where I'm at, every, everywhere else is more black people and mixed with, white people on the other side of the city but anyways once you get on that side you start seeing like the asian markets and stuff like that bro and like i've tried some of their like ginseng tinctures and stuff it's so strong but it's so revitalizing and you'll see them the same lady that's been there since i was a kid and she was older when i was a kid how you doing brian how you doing like she's cognitive like here like she's laser sharp you know, but they take, they move. You always see on the road. She got her little tracksuit on. Her and her husband walking. Rain, sleet, snow. They got the umbrella. They walking. They in the garden. They, you know what I'm saying? But that's, that's the thing. That's the motion. That's the lotion. That's what we need. You know. If okay, I will inbox. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody up in here, y'all can message me. Whatever questions y'all got. If y'all don't want to say on here, message me. I have no problem with that. I reply to most of all of them. Uh, she said, I forgot to say I'm O negative. I can't digest most fruits, bananas, and melons. Yeah, we talked about that earlier. That does that just don't sit well with y'all. That don't sit well with y'all, y'all stomachs. That don't sit well with y'all, uh, y'all blood. It's just don't sit well with y'all. You have to omit it. Even plantains, omit it. It's not the best. Go hear my dogs. What's a good diet for O type? Oh, nigga, a lot of O's up in here. Um... A good diet for y'all is, ooh, child. It depends. It depends on your goal. That's the one thing I envy about y'all. Y'all can eat pretty much however y'all want to eat. Like y'all have y'all restrictions. Don't get me wrong. But like old types, as long as y'all stay with like lean. If so let's say you eat you're a meat eater, if you stick with your lean meats, if you eat a lot of leafy greens, you balance out your fruits and fruits and veggies, and you stay hydrated. Y'all good. Y'all live to be like two, five hundred, three, six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred years old. Y'all can have license license plates and car bumpers and guitar strings for lunch and be good by dinner. I'm so envious of that type of stuff. And y'all build muscle so fast. Y'all typically are like, y'all just lean. Y'all naturally, it's so crazy. Like some of the best athletes are O's. But I would say that, honestly, like we can go deep into, well, you're not supposed to have honeydews. You can't have apple juice and you can't, um, orange juice is horrible for y'all. Blah, blah, blah. I could say all that, but like, I feel like if you listen to your body, a high volume of fruits with leafy greens and lean meats, you'll be good. And if you don't want to do meats, even though I don't, I don't see a lot of old people not doing meat because that's typically how y'all body and y'all metabolism works. I don't have a lot of olds that don't like that don't like meat. So y'all gonna be craving that to a more ex- extreme whatever. But 
I say do that and you'll be good. <clears throat> Excuse me. I heard the coconut water is good to flush you out. It, re- it, it is. It really is. I did coconut water for, that was around festival. That was like around March, April, I want to say I did it. I had like, that and aloe vera juice. I, but I did I did coconut coconut juice with um limes. I would put lime like I had like a I would make like a gallon and then I put like well was it a gallon? It was about I wanna say it was a gallon. It was a gallon I had like probably like ten to twenty limes in there and I'd uh juice them, put them in there. I have a juicer, so I would make the juice or whatever, shake it up or whatever and be drinking throughout the day. You will use the bathroom. You will I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. You're going to the bathroom. But you're gonna be hydrated, your skin gonna look good. Like you're gonna be up, like you're gonna be very revitalized. But I dare say it to me, it acts like a laxative. So just be mindful of that if y'all decide to do that. Thank you, will do. That's no problem, love. What vitamins should someone owe negative blood type? What they should be doing? Um, once again, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not a fan of vitamins, y'all. We had this talk. If you wasn't here yesterday. You didn't hear the, the big speech <laughs> that I gave the other day. I'm just not a fan of vitamins. I'm not. And look, I'm not saying I'm anti-vitamins. I'm not saying don't take no supplements. I'm not bad. I, I don't ever want people to say, oh, well, Coach Brian and be on live bashing, uh, bashing doggone vitamins and this, that, and the third. We can't do this, that, and the third. Because I know how some people just can't. They just thrive off of mess. They thrive off of negativity. But I wouldn't say that you can't. I would just want you to focus more so on herbs because you can re-electrify the body and you can definitely re- not remineralize. You can add more minerals to the body via herbs than supplements. But if you had to, cause I don't really be giving my clients like supplemental suggestions. That's just not me. So like, uh, put some cayenne in your water. That'd be really good for your blood. Um, you can do chickweed. You can do uh dandelion. Like we talked about, we could do hops. You can do sarsaparilla, lime flowers, things of that nature. And you'll be pretty good. But I, I just, I'm just, I'm not about to sit here and be like, oh yeah, these supplements. Cause I'm, I'm just, that's not my thing. So I don't want to tell you nothing wrong. Thank you for answering my question. Of course, of course. Y'all ask on my answer as much as I can. I want to drink lemon, but I have acid reflux. What, see that makes me quite, cause acid reflux is just a sign of acute acidosis. You're too, your body's too acidic. So you need to start focusing on things that's going to turn that down a notch. So my question to you is, what is your diet like? Because every single person, every single person that I've dealt with that has had acid reflux, if it wasn't from another chronic illness that they had, they eat the worst. Not saying that you are. I'm just talking about the people that I have dealt with thus far. They eat the worst. Have the highest starches, have the highest amounts of of just gunk in their system. And then they be looking at me like, well, ain't you can take some herbs. I was like, yeah, but... Switch what you're eating. Like, switch what you're putting in your system. It's like, why do you feel the need to have a Coke with everything? Why do you feel the need to have Sprite and Pepsi with this? Why do you feel the need to go to Chick-fil-A every day? You know, it's like just everything in moderation. But it depends on your uh, on what you got going on. I will say that. How do you find out your blood type? What I did was, well, granted, I have a mom that's just like, I'm just like my mama. We're very analytical. There's not too much information that goes in front of us that we don't remember, especially when it pertains to us. But you can typically get it from like any type of previous work you've had done in the doctors or any type of surgeries or follow-ups or whatever. If you have a given blood, they typically keep those records and you can just grant it. They make you pay for it. But I always knew mine because my dad's owed my mom's uh, A or my mom's B. No, my mom's B. Yeah, my mom's B, my dad's O. And I'm AB. My mom has been telling me I'm AB for the longest. Even when I went and get my blood work done, they said I was AB. So I've always known. But you can do all, all that too. You just go get your blood work and ask them. I wouldn't trust an at-home kid. That's just me. I'm not. That's just me. I'm not good. I'm not about to puncture myself. I'm not about to. I don't do well with that stuff. That's why I draw the line. <laughs> don't drink sodas. Yeah, sodas are horrible. Sodas are, are immensely horrible. Muscles need stretching. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Even if you're not working out, even if you're not an athlete, even, but especially, see, we live in a day and age to where everything is from home. Everybody want food delivered to them. Everybody want to work from home. Everybody want to get out of their bed. Everybody want to be this and the third. Well, you better go outside and stretch or at least open the windows, get some light. Or even if you live in a studio apartment loft, whatever, stretch. Even if oh, I, all I got is a bed, I ain't got a room. Stretch in your bed. Stretch. 
Like, you need to, like, you got to move your body. Like, a lot, prime example, I didn't, I should have reposted that doggone video. There was a lady that was in her, her, she had just turned 70. I don't want to say she was like 70, 71. Literally walks around like this. She started going to the chiropractor. She started um, doing yoga. And then she got into weightlifting. The lady is 78, 79, I want to say, in build. She's standing upright. Her face didn't clear it up. She, like, she's, you can see she's sharp. Like, man, her eyes, like, people don't understand. Even if you're not in the gym heavy, stretching and moving in general, the old, I talked about my grandmother the other day. My grandmother about to be in her 80s, I believe. I want to say she's in her late 70s. She, she's 76, 77, I want to say. No, 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 she's 78. She's 78 right now. And go walk with me. If I say, hey, mama, you want to go walk? Like, she's going to, because we, she lives in a cul-de-sac, but like, it's a circle in a bigger circle. So if you go around, the, because that's, that's, I used to do cross country and track when I was younger, all the way up until college. And I used to literally train in that. So I would like, I would do at least a good full laps because it's about like three quarters of a mile. And she'd be like, okay, let's go, Jay. And then we just go, we just go walk. She'd get her stick. And not because she can't walk for dogs. <laughs> She'll have her stick. I have my little, you know what I'm saying, in my pocket. And then we just go walk. We go do our thing. But that's, you got to move, man. I thought you said old people. And I was like, you said old people. You know what? <laughs> oh, Old people, not old people, old people, old positive, well, old blood types in general. Coconut water tastes bad. I didn't, I don't like it either, but when I mix it with limes, I love it. I don't like coconut water by itself, but coconut water with limes, love it. I, w- I went from, because I, there's a brand, well, I have, we have a local grocery store, farmer's market, fresh market, and like they sell like the local kind out here. And I did not like the taste by itself. I would be trying to stomach it. My brother, his name Andre. He he go get him. He just be. I'm like I don't know how you do it, bro. But like when I put some lime in there, oh, I could chug it. I could chug it like it's nothing. Thank you, my brother, for the people who are willing to make a change. You are very much appreciated, and I appreciate y'all. I thank y'all so much. As long as God gives me more time on this earth and keeps telling me to do this, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just following God, y'all. I like I said before, I'm not bigger than nobody. We all have the same amount of potential, but it's what you do. With your potential and with your time. Ginger root helped me with acid reflux. Ginger's really, really good. But don't get the, don't, there's the, old, the, the more genetic ones, the more super fat big ones. Unless, unless you live in an area to where like you, like I know the people that grow the ginger out here. I, I know where all that stuff come from. So like they, they still naturally grow as big because we're in Southern Louisiana. We have pretty good soil down here. But if you in a store, if you live in like this big city, y'all know good and doggone well. Y'all not naturally going to have no big old crazy chunks of ginger. Y'all natural stuff is, or the local stuff going to be smaller. I've been seeing some ginger, like granted, and ginger could get big. Don't get me wrong. But I'll be looking at certain areas where I know certain pesticides and herbicides are like crazy right now and how they're modifying certain things. And them little things be so, so small. I'm like, okay, that's the natural ones. But the big ones that y'all saying is organic, that's not. Them things be like the size of a fist. I'm like, God, dang, huge. Congratulations, Grandma. Hey, look, let me tell you something. She get it. I pour coke down my drain to fix to fix slow drain. Exactly. So why would somebody put that in their system? Ex- exactly. Exactly. Motivated movement. You dog all right. We gotta move. Motion is lotion. Y'all gonna hear me say that till I die. Motion is lotion, y'all. Man, y'all got some good questions today, Paul. Y'all got some. Ooh, ooh. I love when the live is like. Like, don't get me wrong. We cut up sometimes. We put the music on. We be cutting up from time to time, but. I love when it's like this, when I actually get to like let this, I can only talk like this so many times because not a, not everybody really inquires about this type of stuff. So it's like, I'm sitting here loaded. I give it to my clients. Don't get me wrong. My clients are sick of me at this point because even if it's outside the protocol, I want to talk to you about life. <laughs> I want to talk to you about earth. I want to talk to you about X, Y, and Z. Oh, what teach me about this, that, and the third? Okay. All right. I got something for you. You know, but yeah, bro, it is. I'm thankful for y'all at the end of the day because it is what it is. Prestige president, sir. Charming choice, Watson. Po- what? Po- what? Police and church. I don't know what this. I don't know what he's saying. Level boss. Nothing bigger than God. You right about that, though. That's the part I do agree with. I didn't. Hey, I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. I just don't know what you're saying. I don't know what half of this stuff is. But yeah, nothing is bigger than God, at least not to me. That's one thing I will never do. I will never feel like I'm bigger than, nah, son. 
Cause you, when you really me, who that was? That was me and my friend Chris. He's the drummer. Well, we just we we grew up together. Like that's my college buddy. Like I love that dude. But we were just having a talk about um the grand scheme of life and like the universe. And when you really start, cause I love space. So when you start looking at like our galaxies and our systems and like what they say is where we at and we're one galaxy in another universe and this down the third. And you start looking at the grand scheme of it all. It's like, bro, you only got one life. You only have one life and whatever you decide to do to that do with that should come from within and should come from a place of purpose because we are literally smaller than a grain of sand when it comes down to the grand scheme of the universe all of this stuff vibrates and hums at certain frequencies and hertz and not to get all deep and stuff like that but if you really break it down to its most scientific form everything even planets have their own sounds you know so it's like bruh it, when you really sit down and think about like how significant we are, it's the fact that we're here. It's the fact that we have life. It's the fact that we actually like we were born. It's the fact that to even become a life or to be begin incubation as a big like a like a, a baby cell, millions and billions of sperm cells got to get to the egg. And then the egg is choosy. The egg is like nope, this one, not that one. Even though the certain ones make it before, no, I want this one. They fertilize the egg and then then it makes you and then you're here. That's why it blows my mind when people are like, well, I'm here, but I don't feel like I have a purpose. I don't feel like I'm just that in the third. I oftentimes tell people, one, get off them phones. Because once you start falling into the trap of social media, because the biggest thing that can steal your joy and steal your light is comparison. Comparison will, ru will ruin relationships. It will ruin marriages. It will ruin your job. It will ruin your mindset. You have to figure out who you are. And whatever you get from that and whatever you're going to get from that, because we change like literally psychologically every five to seven years, your brain evolves. So it's like anytime you get to the point of like figuring who you are at your base, good and bad, let's not just focus on the good because you have to tackle the, the subconscious things too. start programming yourself, start getting on to where you got to get at. You will realize that you are highly important. Even a homeless person is highly important. I don't look at a homeless person no different than I do a businessman, than I do a lawyer, than I do a janitor, than I look at myself. Because we may have taken different paths in life. We may have made different choices. We may have deviated from X, Y, and Z. But that doesn't disqualify us from our purpose. This person just made this decision that has to do X, Y, and Z. But that doesn't disqualify you from life. You know, so if you're in a place to where it's like, you know, you're not, you're, you, you feel like you're down and out, you have no purpose, you're depressed, Start focusing on yourself. Put the phone up. Start eating right. A lot of these, it's been scientifically proven, a lot of these these depressive states and bipolar states and mental disorders come from mineral de uh, deficiencies. People aren't eating right. People aren't getting the, the right of uh, electricity and minerals that they need for the body. They're not moving around enough. They're not doing X, Y, and Z enough. And once you start doing that, and once you start moving how you need to move, guess what? You're going to make it. You're going to start increasing. You're going to start doing better. And talk with yourself. I don't care if they call you crazy. Envision yourself talking with whatever or praying, whatever you got to do, and really rearrange yourself. And then, and, no, and that's the thing. Stop caring with people. Man, at the end of the day, ain't nobody paying your bills. Ain't nobody, ain't no, when you're going to lay down, I hate to, I hate to bring it to this, but I'm just going to be real. When you're going to be laying down and taking your last breath, you're the only person going. You're the only, you're going to leave back. You can't take none of this stuff with you. So whatever I learn, whatever I study, whatever I feel led to tell people, whatever God be downloading in me, I, I'll try my best to not miss my mark. And people are like, and not even to make it deep, you ain't like, people are like, whoa, well, God ain't talking to me, blah, blah, blah. Literally you going outside and somebody seeing you is a part of your purpose because to you you're something but to somebody else they're like man that girl look good man that dude look good it's like man i'm trying to get like this. there's something about it. i'm trying to get like that now you didn't motivated somebody you didn't even know just because you don't get the acknowledgement doesn't mean that you're not doing your very existence is literally your purpose now what you do with your gifts and talents and your callings or whatever that's on you but literally you being alive, people looking at you, think about how much joy, think about, think about what happened when you was born. Even if it wasn't in the best situation or the best conditions, you still altered something. That's how strong your life is. And you got to run with that. You got to move with that. I, I know we talk about wellness and stuff like that, but I just, look, I just got to tell y'all that if we're going to be on the, talk, the topic, let's talk about that. I got to scroll up. I missed so many questions. Y'all saying so much. And I got time if y'all got time. Normally, I cut off around this time. But, man, y'all, I'm loving this today. Y'all live is really, really good. I'm definitely coming back tomorrow. 
I'm definitely coming back on here tomorrow. I will come back on later on tonight, but I got rehearsal. I got to leave in a few hours anyway, so. How often do I fast? I used to fast. I'm actually about to start another another fast, like a long fast, but typically I choose midweeks. I do Wednesdays. I don't eat nothing. I don't eat anything. All I do is fruit juice, water, and herbs on Wednesdays, but I'm about to do something else. This degeneration disease in the neck and back. Yeah, you definitely got to get on. Uh, And you got thyroid. God, okay, you need to message me. You need to message me. We could dive into that a lot. Lena! What's up, Lena? What you doing up in here? The one life you have is the historic value of self-strip. You don't know it, and he won't know it. You should check out Prophet who? Prophet Lovey. I thank you for all the information. Much love, much love. My boy woke. We have a mission. <laughs> I don't. I don't really like the word woke. I get it, though. I appreciate the compliment, but like, I don't really roll with that. It's like, I feel like I just ask questions, and I run with my answers. Do you make your own juice? Hope I'm not asking any already asked questions. Now you good? Um, I do. I have a juicer. I, I'm after the Omega. Um, what's the series? Omega something. I forgot the name of it. I, I, it's bookmarked. That's why I don't remember it. But like the juice I have is called. It's, it's so funny. It's called Juicy Yeah. It's um, it's like a German brand or whatever, and it's decent. It gets the job done, but I want the Omega series. Them things is like it's crazy. What's up, Char? Let's see. Well, Night Frost, you was plugging yourself up in here. I'm seeing, I'm seeing Twitter and Snapchat usernames. He said I'm advertised. <laughs> I I ain't mad at you. Do what you gotta do. I ain't gonna block your shine, player. Just don't do too much, though. I don't mind you plugging yourself, but just don't do too much. I need to see people's questions. I don't need them being too distracted. But, hey, do your thing. If you got to promote, promote. You know what? Let's do that for a second. If y'all got any, if y'all want people to follow y'all, if y'all got any type of thing or whatever that y'all got doing, just put that in the comment section so people can see. You know, like, I'm a stylist or I'm a, I do this, I do that. We already know what, what Night Frost do. So, Night Frost, you good. <laughs> you good. But everybody else, if y'all got something you want to say. But I, I'm going to leave with this because I'm not seeing too many questions pop up, which means it's time for me to get off anyway. Um, I want you guys to spread the word. I want you guys to... Go on my page, find whatever post, whatever resonates with you, and just share it. Just share it. Put it on your thing. Tag me or send it to somebody or find something and send it to like three, four, five people. But I really want to get this message out and I really want to get stuff moving. I really want to push it to a whole nother level. And I can't do that without y'all. I'm just one person. But other than that, uh, two two more things. One, one-on-one slots are available. We're doing 300 a month instead of 500 a month for my wellness and weight loss uh, program. If you want to sign up, click the link in my bio or slide my DMs. I got you. Part number two, um, I have my 10-day detox and my 7-day detox. If y'all want that, go to coachbrian.com or click the link in my bio for it. If you're looking, cause I, and the reason why I'm saying that is because, okay, we are about to, you already know, we're going back into the holidays. We just finished Thanksgiving. We about to go into Christmas, stuff like that. Not everybody's eating the best. Not everybody wants to eat the best, blah, blah, blah. I get it. I understand that. But at the same time, if you're looking for something to just kind of keep you balanced, if you're looking for something to keep you focused, not to veer you off, or if you went too far for the holidays and you just need something to stabilize you before your New Year's resolution or whatever, go get my 10-day detox. It's real quick. It's real easy. It's a protocol. It's going to guide you through everything. And then you're going to be able to actually get yourself and keep yourself online, structured, and blah, 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 until you're trying to do everything else. But other than that, it's Coach Brian signing out. I will come back on here later, but I have rehearsal, so that means I have songs to learn. Uh, but I'm definitely getting on tomorrow. I don't believe I have any consult. Let me see. I don't think I have any consultations tomorrow. Let me double check. Because if I don't, I'm definitely gonna be like here on for a long time tomorrow. Let me double check real quick, y'all. Let's see. I have tomorrow's the what? Tomorrow's the ninth. I lie. I got two. I got. Oh, I got. I can't miss Tamara. I got. Is that one? Then is that? So I'm basically gonna be done at three o'clock p.m. tomorrow. So, 3 p.m., well, 3.30. No, no, three, let's do 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, Central Standard Time. 3 o'clock, come check out my page. I'm Central Standard Time. 3 p.m., Central Standard Time tomorrow. Come check me out. I'm going to be on live. And if you don't see me, give me about five minutes because I'm probably wrapping up. I will probably went over with a consultation. But we going live. Y'all have your topics. Y'all have your questions. Y'all spread the word. All that type of stuff. But I'm out. I give y'all life. I give y'all peace. But y'all, y'all, y'all already know. Coach Brian out.